If I had to build and scale a six-figure e-commerce business again, this is exactly how I would do it. In the last few years, I've built and sold many e-commerce stores, including this one, which I scaled to over $250,000 in sales. With Lovable's integration with Shopify, things just got so much easier. Let me show you how it works. All right, to get started, just click on Introducing Lovable and Shopify. Now, you could just start putting in your prompt here, like build me a store and get into it. But first, understand what this integration can do, how it works, and what it can't do. If you go down here a bit, there's a quick how it works. We're going to skip that and go straight to the documentation. So click on View Documentation. It takes you over here. So just quickly, here are the use cases. Some of them are pretty obvious. So you've got the physical products. You can sell clothes, gadgets, accessories, whatever. You can sell digital products which is interesting you can do ebooks courses music software etc it's good for niche brands small business etc that's all pretty pretty good now before you begin this is important this is what you want to read you can only use this integration for new shopify stores so if you currently have a shopify store you can't use lovable to modify it importantly you can also when you do this integration you get hooked up into a real shopify store at no cost once you've done your build you can claim your store so you can you can use the store free for 30 days after the 30 days as it says here after the trial period you need a shopify plan so if you just want to have a play around and build a store and see what it looks like you can do that and you've got 30 days to use it without paying okay so let's build our first store now full disclosure i've actually not built anything with this so whatever you're going to see here it's my first attempt what i'm going to do is use a prompt that i just drafted and i've saved it over in my online ninja community so if i head over there in the classroom lovable shopify merch store so this prompt i'm just going to copy it and the idea here is we'll see if it can build a merch store to sell promotional products for online ninja so back over in shopify i'm going to paste the prompt in and hopefully because it says i'm trying to build an e-commerce store and i want to use shopify it should recognize that and offer up an integration with shopify and take it from there so let's see how it handles it Okay, so the first thing you will see here when you try to build it with Shopify is this enable Shopify connection. Okay, so let's allow that. This is our store. A couple of things to note. When it was going through the, the build process, we had a look at the point where it stopped where allow connection or integration with Shopify. Even though the prompt did have products listed to, to add, it actually didn't create them automatically. So what it does is when it gets to adding products, it may actually do the build and have no products. If you've asked for products, it's actually going to ask for permission to start adding products into the Shopify store. And so once I change this to always allow, it went off and added these products so you can see they're in there now so if we scroll down a little bit here's our featured collection we have six products the ai has generated all the copy for the for the products and it has added the, the pricing and everything so we can change all of this but out of the box in just a few minutes that is looking okay now what i want to do is actually update it to improve the look and feel of it because it does look a bit ordinary to be honest so let's fix that and see if we can get a more styled view and then we'll have a look at the the product detail and checkout. So I've just added this prompt. I'm not going to read right through it, but the idea is to improve the look and feel of the site to align with the brand. So I'm just going to run this and see what happens. Here's the updated version. It all went pretty well, except the add to cart button. It wasn't visible after the changes. So I did have to get that fixed, but it's all looking all right. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we have our featured collection. Now we've got this about us section. Now we also have this featured product with a bit of a hover animation and a buy now button and just a basic footer so this is the main site of course you could just keep asking lovable to modify it just the way you want it but i'm going to move on now to adding a customer service agent bot so what we can do is ask lovable to add a little bubble down in the bottom right of the screen and if a user has an issue they can just ask a question and the ai will respond and if it can't answer it it can take their email address and then send the owner of the store notification so let me do that all right, so I've just added this prompt in here to get this bubble built and also make sure that any visitor can be prompted if they want to be contacted by a customer service agent, they can just give their email address. All right, so I've seen the bubble appear here, so let's see if it works. I'll just click on it. Hi, I'm here to help. How can I assist you? 
Just gonna ask if I can speak with a human. And here it says, I'd be happy to have a customer service representative contact you. Please provide your email address, right? So you add the email address in there, then it's gonna appear in the database. From there, you can add a workflow to get notified, whichever way works for you. You're the store owner, so you can just sort of set that up. So next, we wanna move on to checking out. So if I go to make this full page, now I go to a product. I'll go to the featured product, Online Ninja. I'm gonna buy it and see what happens. Now, I've not done anything that you haven't seen through this video and the checkout is fully working. So you can see this is referred to Shopify. If you look up the top here into the URL, you can see Ninja Build Shop, but it's a subdomain sub of myshopify.com. So it automatically with that integration takes you to the proper Shopify checkout page. Here the user can complete the payment and get the product. Now all the shipping, the inventory and all of that is done within Shopify. So to do that, you go back to Lovable. I'm just going to bring the sidebar back out again and you'll see down the bottom here it says start accepting payments and claim your store so if you hit claim you can start that 30-day trial with Shopify and you don't have to pay anything and there you can set up your your payment gateway your shipping your inventory you can update your images and all of that so now if we want to publish our store, we can just go to publish, which I've just done, and we can see it here. The next phase, if you're actually building an e-commerce store and it's not a demo and you actually want to make some money, you need to get traffic. Now there's a bunch of ways you can get traffic for any website, including e-commerce. The first one you want to have a crack at is SEO, so you can get that organic traffic. The second one is paid ads, and those two methods, SEO and paid ads, are the main ways I've driven traffic to the stores that I've built and sold. Now, if you got a bit of value from this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about AI coding, automation, and how to get traffic, check out Online Ninja AI. It'll be the first link in the description. I look forward to catching you in the next one.